Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is Area and Perimeter as part of my ITC exam series. If you do find this useful, please do like and subscribe. Now, let's get into the maths. Okay, this is a compound shape, so I will start by splitting it into two rectangles as such. I can see here that this rectangle over here is 9 times 12, which is 108. And then this height here of this second rectangle will be 9 minus 6, which will leave me with 3. So the area of this will be 3x. And we're told that the overall area of the shape is 129. So 129 is equal to 108 plus 3x. Subtracting 108 from both sides is going to give me 21 is equal to 3x. And therefore, we're going to get that x is equal to 7. Our next shape is uh, also a compound shape. We can split it up like this into a rectangle and a trapezium. It's asking you to work out the area. Uh, so let's start by working out the area of the rectangle. Let's call it A down here. So A is equal to the base times by the height or the length times the width, which is 14 times by 20, which is 280. And the shape at the top here, let's call it B, is a trapezium. Now you're given the formula for trapezium in your formula sheet, and it's a half A plus B multiplied by H. A plus B are the two parallel sides. In this case, we have 20 and we have 16 parallel to each other. So we write 20 plus 16 in here. And then the height is the gap between the two parallel sides. So because the overall shape is 24 and the height of the rectangle is 14, 24 minus 14 is 10. So therefore, the height of this trapezium must be 10. So I can go to my calculator and I can press a half multiplied by open brackets 20 plus 16 and then multiply that by 10. And I should get 180. So the total area of the compound shape are the two areas added together and that will give me 460 and that will be centimeters squared. Okay, next is a popular question where they give you a garden, for example, and they need to work out the area of it, and then they're going to ask you whether or not you can cover that garden with enough of the grass seed. Okay, so let's start, first start off by doing the area. The area of a uh, circle is pi r squared, so a semicircle is pi r squared over two. So we know the radius already, which is helpful. So it's just pi multiplied by 7.2 squared and then all over um, 2. Well, let's just do it like this and then divide that by 2. And that's going to give you 81.4. Now um, we have 12 boxes of grass seed and each box contains enough to cover 6 meters squared. So the amount of seed which we have, we have 12 multiplied by 6 and 12 times by 6 is 72. So has, do they have enough grass seed? Well, no they don't. And that is because 72 is less than 81.4. Okay, the next question, and we have two semicircles, and we need to work out the area of the uh, shaded region. Well, let's look at the um, larger semicircle first. That will have a radius of 6. So the area of the larger semicircle will be pi times by 6 squared over 2, which is 36 pi over 2, which is 18 pi. And then if we look at the smaller semicircle, that will have a radius of um, uh, 6 minus 2, which is 4. 
So the area of the smaller semicircle will be pi multiplied by 4 squared over 2, which will be 16 pi over 2, which is 8 pi. Okay, so the shaded region is just going to be the larger one minus the smaller one, which will give me 10 pi, and that is as a multiple of pi as they've asked for. Okay, next question, we have a, um, a square inside of a circle, and it's asked you to work out the total uh, shaded regions. Well, I'm going to need to draw a line in like this. And I'm going to also draw another line in like this. And I'm going to call this, uh, well, that's a right angle, so I'm going to meet at right angles. And I'm going to call this distance R, because it's the radius from the center to the edge. And I'm going to call this distance R as well, because it's also from the center to the edge. Now, using um, Pythagoras' theorem, we can see that the, inside this right angle triangle here, we have r squared plus r squared is equal to the hypotenuse, which is 7 squared. This gives me that 2r squared is equal to um, 7 squared is 49. So r squared is equal to 49 over 2. So r is equal to the square root of 49 over 2. So we can go to our calculator and we can do the square root of 49 over 2 and we get 4.95. Uh, so what I can now do is I can work out the area of the overall circle. So the area of the circle is equal to pi r squared, which is equal to pi times by 4.95 squared. So I'm going to square this and then I'm going to times it by pi. And that's going to give me 76.97. And I can also work out the area of the uh, square, uh, which is quite straightforward because it's a square and it's each side is 7. So it's just 7 by 7, which is 49. So the area of the shaded is equal to the area of the circle, uh, sorry, area of the circle, which is 76.97 minus the area of the square. So just take away 49 and we have 27 to the nearest whole number, so it'll be 28. And that will be centimeters squared. I uh, hope you found that useful. If you did, please do like and share and check out the next video in the series.